shockwaves are rippling through Port Charles. As everyone learns of Sam McCall's untimely death, following what was expected to be a successful surgery. It was supposed to be a joyous chapter in her life. She had recently donated part of her liver to save Lulu Spencer and was seemingly on a steady path to recovery. Her boyfriend, Dante Falconeri, had even proposed, giving Sam a gorgeous ring that symbolized their bright future. Sharing the happy news with her mother, Alexis Davis, Sam was beaming with hope and relief. But in the blink of an eye, tragedy struck leaving her family and friends to grapple with their unexpected and profound loss. The horror began during what should have been a heartwarming visit with her mother, Alexis. In a moment that will likely haunt Alexis forever, Sam's face suddenly drained of color and her breathing stopped. Her expressions shifted from confusion to fear before she collapsed into unconsciousness. Medical personnel were immediately alerted, and Sam's brother, Dr. Lucas Jones, along with head nurse Elizabeth Weber, sprang into action. Lucas, visibly distraught, battled for 30 agonizing minutes to revive her, while Elizabeth, a close friend of Sam's for decades, did everything possible to help. But despite their heroic efforts, Sam couldn't be saved. Finally, Dr. Portia Robinson gently reminded Lucas of the difficult reality, leading him to call Sam's time of death, 5.48 p.m. It was a devastating moment for all involved. As the community reels, Sam's loved ones are beginning to come together, each heartbroken in their own way. Alexis and Jason Morgan, two of Sam's closest confidants, will find their worlds shattered, struggling to come to terms with the unexpected blow. Her fiancé, Dante, who had only recently envisioned a future together, is left grappling with the fact that his dreams of a life with Sam were shattered in an instant. Sam's children, too young to fully comprehend this immense loss, will soon face the reality of life without their mother. But amidst the sorrow, an unsettling question looms over Port Charles. Why did Sam die so suddenly? Dr. Portia Robinson hinted at the possibility of an embolism, a complication that sometimes arises unexpectedly in post-surgical recovery. Yet, whispers of a different, more sinister explanation are starting to circulate. According to a reliable source, it wasn't a natural complication, but a calculated murder. The source claims that the notorious Cyrus Renault, an enemy of Sam's family and a longtime threat to Port Charles, is behind it all. Allegedly, he administered Digitalis, a heart-stopping poison, into her IV bag, ensuring her swift and fatal decline. The unsettling possibility of murder transforms Sam's death from a tragedy into a potential crime that demands justice. If an autopsy reveals traces of Digitalis, an investigation could quickly follow. The doctors who fought to save her will want to know exactly how such a deadly substance could have entered her body. And if evidence shows deliberate tampering with Sam's IV, fingers will likely point straight at Cyrus. Known for his calculated, ruthless behavior, Cyrus has made enemies across Port Charles. Yet few would have suspected him to go this far. Now General Hospital faces the possibility of a whodunit saga that will push the residents of Port Charles to confront dark truths. Few would have wanted Sam dead, especially after her heroic choice to donate her liver and save a life. Yet, if Cyrus indeed had access to the hospital during her critical hours, a renewed wave of tension will flood Port Charles as suspicions take root and alliances shift. Her untimely death is more than just a personal tragedy. It's a battle cry for the town, a reminder that no one is safe as long as hidden threats lurk in the shadows.